everyone, this is Teresa Glass with another interesting and exciting science video. Today we're going to do an engineering activity. We're going to build a rubber band car. Now basically what you need, you get this uh, in a kit from teachergeek.com and in the kit you have an instruction booklet and it comes in a plastic bag with materials. The materials they have in it are wheels, a frame, they have dowels, and they have extensions on here. And these are the this is the instruction booklet, and these are all the materials that you get uh, inside of it. Here, there's some additional materials that you can use. You can use a string. You can use tools to build it, like a hammer, screwdriver, and basically a cutting tool for the dowels. And you can use extra rubber bands. Here's how you build the eraser. Again, you take the wheel and the dowels and you cut the dowels so that they fit on the wheels. Then you put the frame together. Then you put everything together on the wheels and you try it. Here you take the rubber band and you put it in the middle and there's usually a little hook that's included with that. And then after you and here's the rubber band. After you get it, you uh, let the rubber band you let the rubber band go, and the racer goes. And here you have um, large rubber bands on the back wheels to reduce friction. So basically, the scientific principle behind building this is mechanical advantage. And mechanical advantage is that the input work in equals the output work. So basically, when you're trying to race this car, you, uh, the force released by the rubber band contracting over a distance equals the force of the racer and the distance it travels. And there is some energy is lost due to the force and the mass in this. So again, you have force and distance in equals force and distance out. And here I'm showing you the formula for this. Now there are other things you can do with this too. You can really refine the engineering on this. You can take your rubber bands and put them with the dowels. You can add an extension to it with a couple more rubber bands like they did here. You can add a lever to it and make it into a simple machine. And you can also add gears to it and make it operate like a train. So this is a really good project. Uh, you could use it for force and motion. You could use it uh, for a unit on simple machines. You could use it talking about collision. You could use it for force and motion. And you can use it if you're going to have a car race. So basically, I'm going to show you. This is basically my racer. And I just let this go. And these are the wide rubber bands on the traction. And this is what I'll, I'll do. I'll just let it go. And it goes forward. And the rubber band kind of comes off. And that's basically what you do. So again, this is Teresa Glass with the Rubber Band Racer. It comes with TeacherGeek.com. They have a lot of good uh, kits. And they have videos that tell you how to build them as well as instructions. And you can look at the videos and download the instructions if you don't get them in the kit. So this is great for ages probably 8 to 17. It would be great for maybe a car race. You could have your, your middle school students do that if you have a competition. So that's great to use it for too. I really had fun building this. I took me back to my childhood. And... Probably when I get time, I'd like to see if I can, you know, add gears to it, maybe build it like a train. But anyway, this is, this is a great little uh, kit to use. And with your NGSS engineering standards, uh, it kind of fits into that, especially for a physical science class or a physics class. So again, this is Teresa Glass uh, with another science video. And in addition to this video, I'm probably going to upload the video to build this from the TeacherGeek.com website. So please look for that when you get a chance. And have a great time building, building those wonderful engineering projects.